Right, hi everyone, cheers, and welcome to another All My 78s UK uh, lockdown sort through. Number nine, I can't believe we've got to number nine. Mm. And uh, yeah, uh, so been in a garage, pulled out some more, the usual thing, I don't know what's in there. I'm, I, I'm a bit of a worry about these here, I think they may be a bit boring. Uh, the 12 inch ones at the back there who knows so I did grab some uh, 10 inch ones there was some 10 inch in, the, in one of the boxes and I, I bunged them in here so we'll have a look now and see what we got so let's get going right so uh, quick slurp first mm. on the Decca label Ozzy, Niels Ozzy Nelson and his orchestra with a vocal refrain uh just what's it say just a year ago tonight and on the other side i i want you i need you uh so yeah that looks quite good i'm gonna i'm gonna say that's a keep i'm gonna do keeps oh before i carry on i'm gonna do uh if there's anything you want to to me to play i'm gonna restrict you though to one subscriber one one uh, play because um i really do struggle with time but i'm going to have a definite i'm going to put all the ones that i reject and all the ones um that i'm keeping and that all together for the first week so that it gives people plenty of time to uh ask because otherwise i want I, some people ask for um records and i don't know where they are because i put them away and i can't always remember where i've put them so um yeah anyway another Decker here, um, Charlie Charlie Cunz, Charlie Cunz. I don't know how to say this word, and I'm, I'm very careful. Charlie Cunz piano. How do you pronounce his name? <sighs> this is piano melody number seventy, and I, I'm not a fan of his. So that's going in the um, reject bin. I'm afraid. Sorry to say. But that's definitely going in the reject bin. Uh, but that's not really a reject. I mean, I just pass them on for other people. So there's collectors out there who will love him, and they will love him, and uh, they'll get great, um, great joy out of it. <laughs> we have another one at the piano here, and a baritone on the Columbia label. Uh, it's I've always wanted to call you my sweetheart. And on the other side is Ramona. I've heard of that one actually, Ramona. I'm going to listen to that one. So that's a listen to. I've got to change these around, actually. I think they'd be better off if the keeps there. And if I put the... Um, that's it. Right, back on the Decca label. Is... Where are we? Can you read that? Good. Sweetheart will never grow old. I see... I see Bon. Izzy Bon, is it? Yeah, Izzy Bon. Of course it is. Izzy Bond with orchestral accompaniment on the other side. Same same day you'll want me me to want you. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put that as a listen to. We'll have a look later on. We'll see. Oh, there's on a phone label. There we go. That's that's what the label says. Uh, Barracoot from Tales of Hoffman. Hmm. Well, it's a keep anyway, because it, I, I usually keep much old stuff, that, and I just put it away in the um, with me old other old stuff, vintage, what I call really vintage. Phillips label, modern. Uh, under the Paris skies. Um, and sincerely yours. There we go. Um, not for me. So it's it's going in the uh, oh where's I put the reject oh it's over here oh the MGM label my one and only Highland Fling Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers these are from films usually aren't they the MGM film are uh, the Barclay the Barclays of Broadway and they're usually pretty good sometimes they are pretty really good and sometimes they're not so good I mean it depends really what you like but. 
we'll see i'll keep that one anyway shall i keep it or i'll put on the listen pile i'm gonna I don't, uh, it's on the listen is that the listen pile is that the keep pile i've mixed them up already i can't believe that i did that oh dear right sorry about that i'm back again now i, I just had a little <laughs> right this is nursery rhymes now i do keep children's records um and this is nursery rhymes second record nursery rhymes first record and it's just various ones i might even have this i might even have this i don't know but i'm keeping it anyway oh broadcast 12 sleeve and we got oh piano accompaniment tchaikovsky so it's, it's it's just classical any classical is just going straight in the uh the reject or the or to pass on some collector out there will love it roses of picarda picardi uh lillian davis and overnight lillian lillian davis rings a bell sorry you need to have a look don't you there we go i don't know what it is without that but it, it rings a bell so i'm going to put it on the listen to listen to find the listen to there it is there on the Rex label, on parade, <laughs> brass bands, and I'm not a fan of brass bands. There we go. There it is. There and there's the other side. I'm not a fan of brass bands at all. Parlophone red label, the Continental. Harry Roy and his orchestra from the Mayfair Hotel. Look at that. That might be okay. Actually, I've got a funny feeling that is. Harry Roy, I know Harry Roy, I'm sure I do. I'm going to put it there anyway. Keep it in a moment. Ted Heath, Roo Roo Kangaroo and Driving. I'm going to keep this one. Sometimes I don't keep the uh, Ted Heath ones and I probably should do. But it's on a Decca label, so I'll keep it. If it was on a BD label, uh, an HMV, I don't know if they were, but if, they, if it was, I'll probably not. There's another Ted Heath one here. Do nothing till you hear from me and pick yourself up. There we go. Yeah. Okay. We're keeping that. So we're doing all right so far on the keeps. Uh, another Ted Heath. So we've got a Ted Heath collection coming through here. Fascinating rhythm and lush. Is that lush slips and slides? I can't quite slush slide. I'm sure you know that one. Right, moving on to another parlophone. Parlophone this time. Snake Down the Stars, Foxtrot, Benny Goodman and his orchestra. Wow, yes, that is more like it for me. I do like Benny Goodman. Big, big fan. Big fan of Benny Goodman. In fact, I've got the Benny Goodman... Um, DVD, the uh, Benny Goodman story. I'm going to go and watch that later. Uh, this is just uh, one of those. That's going in the uh, reject. The reject. Oh, the reject pile. And another one. I think there's the same. John McCormack, piano accompaniment by Gerald Moore. I'll walk beside you and the star of the county down. To listen to, is it? I will give that one a chance. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I should, but I will do. Some of, it's amazing the way some of these sleeves are in just absolutely near mint condition. Elizabeth Schumann. Oh, it's a bit foreign, so I'm not going to pin that try. But something lullaby anyway, isn't it? Okay. Is it German? German, is it? Uh, so no, I'm going to say no to that one. I have been trying to be really strict, but I'm saying no to that one. Right, nice Decca label here. What we got, Fred? What's this? Fred Verne, Old Sam Part One, Old Sam Part Two. That sounds very interesting. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Musical, oh, it's a musical monologue. 
Ah, oh, that's got to be kept, hasn't it? Right, now we're getting to these. So, let me have a, a sip. Mm. Oh, look at this. A lovely Columbia label. A children's overture. The London Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm going to keep that one. Am I going to keep it? Yes, I am. I like these things. I'm trying to collect them because they're helping me to sort out my collection. Uh, John McCormack. The, the Fairy Tree. And on the other side is Far Apart. I'm going to put it in the Listen To pile. To be listened to, should I say. Columbia Label, Another Day's Broadcasting, Descriptive Sketch by Clapham and Dwyer. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. I think it's uh, uh, what we've got here. Valdemir de Pashman. Is it something like that? It doesn't say. I know it's a prelude in minor. No, no, no. I'm not, not, not keeping that. Not keeping it. Uh, the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> I've heard of the Flying Dutchman. So I'm going to. Oh, what have I done here? Did I say I was keeping that one? No, I need to put that one there. I've gone in the wrong pile. It's just me all over. This is me all over. Oh, nice decker. Look at that. Nice decker sleeve. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? And it's just wonderful condition as well. Wow. I just love that sleeve. Uh, but let's have a look at the label. William Tell over. Oh, wow. Now, that's a nice one, isn't it? The William Tell Overture. Oh, it says third side. Fourth side. Oh, no. We're missing one. We're keeping it anyway, because you never know. It might turn up. Maybe it's in here. Oh, look, it's here, I think. Have we got it? No. William T Yes, first side. Oh, yes, we have got it. That's great. Wow. <laughs> That's a relief, isn't it? Isn't that a relief? And it's, again, beautiful original sleeve. Just look at those gramophones there. Look how beautiful that. Look at that. Somebody knows what model that is. I'm sure they do. If you do know what model that is, and it's not on here, I don't think. Yeah, if you if you know what model that is, can you uh, put it in the comments? Well, the keep section has grown. It's much. It's bigger. It's, it's winning. Oh, another nice Columbia. Uh, John Coates Tenor. Oh, Mistress Mine. It sounds like something I might might be interested to keep. I, I might get okay, I'll put it in the listen to. To be listened to. Right. So now we have. Oh, I love these. I, I, I really. These are great. These are great. Right. So anyway, we're keeping. I think these are all twelve inch. Now there's a ten inch here. Hugh Winter Holton and his orchestra. Uh, song of the song of the game something can oh, it's a, it's a, I've got to listen to it and I? I've got to listen to this because I might, I might like it <laughs> I might not but uh, right let's see if there's any more oh there is there you are let's, let's grab these ones and go through these quick oh another nice inlay card uh yeah, I don't think I'm going to like this one. Uh, no. I'm going to put it up for you to look at, but I'm not going to um, I like it. So it doesn't even go on there. It goes on the reject. It's a shame, really, because somebody loved those. I mean, they put them in nice sleeves, and they nice spent a lot of time putting these labels on. Oh, the Children's Overture, the London Philharmonic Orchestra. The children's overture and this is side three and four again so have we got the other sides i don't know i'm going to keep it not coming up yet anyway what have we got here fat fat little fella with his mummy's eyes shortening bread paul robson i've got some more paul robson somewhere i have indeed 
Oh, we should just read that, really, shouldn't we? Look, it's all on there. Hmm. I spent some time doing that. Uh, I'm going to put it in the listen to, but I think... Right, I don't know. This is the BD label. Oh, it's Joe Loss. I oh, do you know what? I'm at a loss to know what to do with my Joe Losses. <laughs> I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put I'm going to put it in the in the keep because it will go with the others that I've got which I haven't showed you guys yet but I will do. Right, so I'm back on bang on now to the 12 inch ones and this is going to be a problem where to put these. So um yeah, all right, I just found the spot. I oh, know. I need a drink, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. This is ballet music. So it's not going anywhere apart from the reject number two over there, which is 12 inch rejects. <sighs> London Philharmonic Orchestra Ballet Music. Sure, there's somebody watching this who's saying, oh, right then. Well, if you lived in the UK and you send me a message, as long as you pay the postage, you could probably have them, but it'll probably take me a little while to work out how to um, box them up. With the 12 inch ones, they're always that more difficult isn't they they're always more likely to break i don't think i've ever ever um no i'm not keeping that either i've never ever uh, posted a 12 inch before I've posted 10 inch but not 12 inch uh so I, these are just what i thought they were going to be really and and uh you know yeah Oh, parlophone. This might always heavy one as well. Thick. What's this then? The Orchestra of the State Opera House Berlin. Forced. There we go. It's a very shiny one. You can see my face in it, I think. Which is unfortunate for you. <laughs> it's not something I'm going to really want. But I tell you what, I'm interested enough to put it up here just so I can might listen to it. The Barber, oh, I know this one, the Barber of Seville, Overture, part one and part two. Again, I don't think it's something that I would listen to, really. I've got too much to listen to. Uh, I've got some really, you know, a lot of 78s that I'm, I'm really into. I don't really want to spend time listening to the Hungarian Rhapsody, you know. Parts one and parts two, I should imagine. I think these are quite nice-ish, sort of like classical um, 78s if you're into that. But the Jolly Robbers, the Great Symphony Orchestra. That, that one actually does sound. And on the nice Decca label there. The Jolly Roger, Robbers. I might listen to that one. Yeah, there's a couple of them I've got so far. New Symphony Orchestra, I don't know. It's not me. It's not me at all. I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm just gonna show you them and then I'm just gonna like put them straight in the uh Love in her oh, minute. Love in her eyes sits playing. Webster Booth tenor with orchestra. Four shillings. Somebody paid for that. Four shillings. How much is four shillings in today's money? Um about 20 pence. And 20 pence is what? About 17, 18 cents. The Bournemouth Municipal Orchestra. I, I, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. And those 12 inches I've already put aside, they're probably going to end up in the reject bin quite quickly uh, uh how it turned in oh i don't know i'll let you guys look at that one you tell me what you think if you if you think any of these are really rare and worth a lot of money then just tell me and then i <laughs> maybe put them on 
Facebook, but it'd have to be worth a, a fair bit for me to be bothered, to be honest with you. I can't be bothered to sell things, really. I've given away quite a lot of stuff, but I can't be bothered to sell it. Um, there's no comebacks when you give people stuff, is there? <laughs> because you've given it to them. So, <laughs> no comebacks, really. Going through this now as quick as I can because I think we all know what's going to be here. And uh, I don't want this video to be, you know, long if it's going to be this boring. Um, nice 12 inches master's voice, but it was a bit. Oh, no, what is it? It's the same thing. <laughs> I sneezed there. Eh? Maybe I, I can edit it out. <laughs> If I forgot to edit it out, then I'm sorry, or excuse me, or whatever I'm supposed to say. Oops, they've fallen down. Right. Skaters and bolts. I don't know. Two more Columbia's left. Ritual Dance Fire, Sydney Torch and his orchestra. I think that might be a listen to one and I, it'd be a very quick listen as well if I don't get into it quickly then it's you know oh the Merry Wives of Windsor Overture part one and two the Philharmonic Orchestra that's it that's it we're done so yeah right well thanks for watching this uh, one this is uh, I've got a nice a nice bundle here to keep I think I don't think there's many that will be lost out of it, but yeah, not that many. So, yeah, I'll have to show you the uh, the Brunswick's that I got out. They were really mega. They were mega mega. But anyway, thanks for watching this, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, hopefully be back soon with um, lockdown sort out. Or sort through, should I say, lockdown sort through number 10. That would be a big one, hopefully. Right, bye for now.